Hello, my name is Pedro Hernandez, and here at St. Cox Technology, I'll be talking about our HSDT linear Haas polydetector and our linear sensor technology. The HSDT linear Haas polydetector can measure the temperature in real time, capable of identifying any hotspot along the sensor, and is able to function in harsh environments, for example, tunnels, conveyors, cold storage doom, cable trays, and much more. The HSD detector consists of HSD linear heat sensor and a DAQ module. The sensor cable can have a length up to 200 meters and it can identify temperatures ranging from negative 40 to 260 degrees Celsius. The DAQ module can support four different HSD linear heat sensors and a module has an LCD display that can display the information of the temperature in real time, rate of temperature change, alarm, and fault status. The module also has two relays. One is used for fault alarm and the other one is used for fire alarm. The DQ module has a RS485 communication interface that can be easily be connected to the user's control panel. We also provide our Sencox HSD utility software that can be used to monitor the temperature of the environment on the user's computer. Here's the setup of the system. The linear heat sensor is connected to the DAQ module by an extension cable. Right now, the entire sensor is in room temperature. As you can see by the DAQ module display, the sensor has a temperature of 24 degrees Celsius. For this demonstration, we are using a cup of hot water to represent a hotspot. Now let's pick a point along the sensor. The module could be used as a fire alarm controller. Once the hotspot temperature is higher than the alarm setting value temperature, then the alarm relay will trigger, which can be a sign of a potential overheat area around the sensor. For this particular demonstration, we set the alarm temperature at 60 degrees Celsius. You can set the alarm temperature at any setting value from negative 40 to, to 260 degrees Celsius. Now, you can see on a DAQ module, the alarm got triggered because of the temperatures above 60 degrees Celsius, also indicated by the red LED light. Here are some of the features of our utility software. Sensor 1 corresponds to the current sensor being used. The red graph indicates the real-time temperature, and the yellow graph indicates the rate of temperature change. Let's wait for a couple seconds in order for the sensor to stabilize. It stabilized at 99 degrees Celsius. Compared to the thermometer, they are very close to each other. Now let's repeat the temperature sensing process again. But this time let's pick a different section along the sensor. For the second demonstration, I'll be fast forwarding the video.
for this new section, the sensor stabilized at 99 degrees Celsius. The two sections we used successfully detected the temperature of the hotspot, which means no matter what section along the sensor we pick, our detector system identifies where the overheating occurs. We are also able to see the temperature data in real time, both in a module and a software. This is how our linear sensor technology works in the field. With the HSDT linear hotspot detector, it provides an early detection for fire and overheated areas. Our system is flexible and can optimize any fire alarm solutions. Keeping your facility safe and reducing the cost of running your facility.